Welcome back. Last week, we started a discussion on black magic with Sheikh Atabek Shukrov. In today's episode, let's continue this intriguing conversation. We'll focus on cures for black magic and ways we can prevent it. Sheikh Atabek is a renowned scholar, having studied in Uzbekistan, Syria, and al Azhar University in Egypt. His expertise spans a wide range of Islamic disciplines. Let's hear what he has to share with us about black magic. So welcome to the show, Sheikh Atabek. Thank you, Amr. So we left off on our last segment. We talked about sort of the basis of, you know, what black magic is, what is evil eye, what are the different opinions. So now I want to get into some of the practicalities of it. How does someone cause um, or... I guess, do black magic or cause an evil eye on someone? Uh, you know, uh, black magic, the act of black magic, I would say it is, um, you know, everything in the universe has got real existence mm -hmm. and it has got its shadow. Okay, so in contemporary language, science, pseudo-science. Mm -hmm. Medicine, pseudo-medicine. Mm -hmm. And what, so black magic is shadow of something. So what do you think? Shadow of what? I have no idea. It is shadow of prophethood. Okay. Okay. What do you mean by that? Um, a revelation. Okay. A rev its shadow is magician. Understand? Mm -hmm. Because both, uh, both of them claim some type of receiving some information from unseen. You're comparing. You're talking about black magic and prophet. Prophet, yes. So okay. they are opposite of same each other. Okay. Opposite of each. Mm -hmm. So it's the same as. Um, a psychology, parapsychology, mm -hmm. if you understand what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. okay. So a bit of mirroring the both. Yes, yeah, so it is opposite of both. Mm -hmm. Okay, so prophethood, prophet opposes magician. Okay, gotcha. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, in some aspects, both will look like each other. But in big scale, they will differ from each other. Differ in terms of like, will they collide with each other? Yeah, in terms okay. of the end destination. Prophethood will be leading toward the peace and tranquility and happiness. Mm -hmm. Magician, opposite of that. Prophet, to bring the people together to help each other for good. Magician, opposite of that. And is that when you're talking about magician, are you also talking about evil eye within uh, the same no, context? Evil eye, uh, first of all, evil eye for me is exactly as herbal medicine. Okay. So it's not uh, religious, mm -hmm. but it is practical. I mm -hmm. mean, practical knowledge. Okay, we'll touch upon it okay, later. Okay, sure. Okay, so now, um, can you remind me, please, when uh, how prophethood started with Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam? Isn't it revelation from Jibril? Yeah. So isn't it that first he started getting some dreams mm -hmm. which yes. would come true, mm -hmm. and he did consider it as indication for something, and then what did he? How did he react to it? He was scared at first. So he went for isolation. Yeah. Understand? This, the shadow of prophethood is exactly on the same way. Okay, so you have to reach spiritually towards evil way. Then you will start getting signs. It will be satanic signs. And practically, uh, have you seen um, people w who have been impacted by black magic? Yeah. You have? Yeah. And all of that is just illusion. So give me, what's a practical example of that? So for example, um, j just two days ago, I visited some uh, family and they mm -hmm. had this problem. So th this lady gets all the time whispers in her ear. Okay, someone all the time, mm -hmm. voice actually, saying you don't belong to anyone but you, lo you belong to me and that type of whispers. Okay, so all of that to do with your Imagination, but does mm -hmm. it mean so? If it is related to the brain, so does it mean that we can somehow fix it by remedies, by medicine? Mm -hmm. um, so it is quite a tough question. <laughs> it is a tough question. Yes, we do in our herbal medicine. We do believe that um, psychological disorder is nothing but a consequence of physical disorder. Mm -hmm. That's why we in Islamic herbal medicine cure. I mean that we treat. We treat the psychological illnesses by remedies. So what are some of the examples of the remedies that you use in this situation? I, I'm not talking about black magic, but for, do you know this anxiety? Mm -hmm. Anxiety, yeah. for, for anxiety, uh, I use al marjun al-Zahabi. It's what? called marjun, so it's mm -hmm. just, uh, we use uh, uh, golden powder, we, you understand? 
because that strengthens your heart and brain. So you're talking about different elements. You do uh, different psychological issues. You do use herbal medicine to yeah, treat them. Because we, we do not believe in herbal medicine. We do not believe in psycho independent psychological um, illness because mm -hmm. human is undetachable from himself. So there's obviously psychological a behavior mm -hmm. is nothing but a result of your physical condition. So and it means physical treatment is needed. Exactly. But going back to, so how do you treat with uh, something that you can't see, like the black magic incident? What's yeah. the, what, what, what approach do you use there? Yeah, so for that one, because it is actually caused by rituals. So mm -hmm. it will be unlocked by rituals also. Okay, so as Prophet goes for isolation mm -hmm. to meet with the noble creation, that's how magician goes to the isolation to meet this evil creation who will... I mean, these creations who will mm -hmm. uh, order you to do silly things, okay? And so um, to stop that uh, uh, illusion, which mm -hmm. is called black magic, in the brain yeah. of a person who is affected, we use different recitations. Could from be from Quran. Quran, could be out of, from f somewhere else also. And it does not have to be from uh, holy text, Quran or Sunnah. It could be anything which is practically proven to benefit, so we use that all. And is this an area, I guess, that you study and so that's how you sort of, so the average person can't just go and, if someone is, you know, has been impacted by black magic, you can't just go and be like, okay, I'm going to open up the Quran and no, try to read something. No, it's something that needs to be you done. You have to study, you have to learn the types of these black magic. Some of them does not need any, uh, any recitation or anything. You just speak to the person in calm and gentle word, it just disappears by itself because all of that uh, universe in which he's living, it is only in here. Mm -hmm. You have to just wake him up. Okay. okay. Yeah. So he's just uh, a, uh, playing with the mind of a people, actually. I know. I'm definitely getting a little creeped out. Maybe our viewers are too. So, what are some, you know, going forward? Um, what are some, are there any, is there any uh, Quranic advice or prophetic advice rather of any verses in the, uh, any verses from the Quran that we should recite to protect ourselves from things like black magic? Uh, just keep in your mind because black magic is very weak thing. Okay. Uh, um, Musa alayhi salam says, مَا جِئْتُمْ بِهِ سِحَرْ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ سَيُبْطِلُ The thing that you brought presented all oh, magicians it's nothing but black magic it's just magic mm -hmm. and god will ruin it so black magic is very weak thing so that's why you rarely find it affecting on a person with strong character strong you can say personality you understand because mm -hmm. it's very miserable very small thing so it's the same as so anyone who could be deceived by words can be affected by black magic also I will just scare you, saying, you know, some jinn is waiting for you and you will be scared. Mm -hmm. It means I can affect on you by black, black magic. Mm -hmm. But if you will say, what are you talking about? Ha, ha, ha. means it's impossible to affect on you. And when you say strong personality, do you mean like just personality-wise or do you also mean mental, from a spiritual mental, sense? Mentally and psychologically. Strong people, strong mm -hmm. personalities. Mm -hmm. Okay? And strong personalities can affect it by magic only while they're depressed because they're already overloaded mm -hmm. they become weak and then they will start hearing. so by black magic maybe hearing things and seeing things which does not exist in the reality okay yeah so the most important thing is if you are mentally and a psychologically strong person do not be afraid of it so from here maybe we can understand that these people who are fabricating that prophet muhammad was affected by black magic it is how miserable how, you know, great yeah. joke is it, you know? Yeah. Rasul prophets, they're very strong in terms of mentally, academically, intellectually. Impossible to affect on them. What about someone who, uh, you know, I think everyone has strong personality traits, but what about someone who maybe doesn't feel as strong? Are there specific... Uh, yes, yeah. Surah Yasin, before sunrise. Before it is sunrise. Before sunrise, okay? So uh, as far as I remember, there was this... Uh, Maybe we did mention it before. Uh, some um, uh, some professor from Japan. So he tested, he experimented the water, mm -hmm. and the impact of recitations and songs and music on the water. So it was just brilliant. Mm -hmm. So uh, in my own understanding, uh, reciting Surah Yasin somehow designs or gives some type of mental peace. Mm -hmm. So you will have enough strength to you know to spend one day in that mood. In 
great mood. Every night before sunrise? Before sunrise, yeah. So after Fajr, uh, pray Fajr and uh, recite it. Normally with me it takes about three to four minutes. Yeah. I think you've given me a very peaceful end to this conversation. So before that peace goes away, thank you very much, Sheikh Atabek. Thank you. Hey YouTube, we hope you benefited from this video. If you liked it, or if you didn't, let us know in the comments below. And if you're interested in learning more, check out some of our other videos. And don't forget to subscribe so you can get new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday.